Unlike most of the English romantics, who wrote in either verse or in prose, Robert Southey, like his friend and brother-in-law Samuel Taylor Coleridge, was both a poet and prose writer. Of his fellow romantics, he was perhaps the most versatile, as well as one of the most prolific. As a poet, he produced epics, romances, and metrical tales, ballads, plays, monodramas, odes, eclogues, sonnets, and miscellaneous lyrics. His prose works include histories, biographies, essays, reviews, translations, travelogues, semi-fictional journalism, polemical dialogues, and a vast array of fiction, autobiography, anecdotes, and omnium gatherum works that defies classification. Although Southey began to write journalism early and continued to compose verse in later years, his literary career is divided into two phases, an early poetic vein, followed by a midlife shift to prose discourse. His early life is thus bound up mainly with his development as a poet. Robert Southey was born in Bristol, England on August 12, 1774 as the oldest surviving son of a bankrupt tradesman of the same name and his wife, Margaret Hill Southey. During much of his childhood, he was forced to live away from home with his unaffectionate and domineering aunt, Elizabeth Taylor, and attend tyrant and lack of nurture boarding schools. From these early experiences, Southey developed his lifelong habit of suppressing his intense motions under a reserved exterior of cheerfulness and took refuge from a bleak and loveless existence in the world of literature. Southey was numbered among the so-called Lake Poets, which included William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. He was educated at Westminster and Balliol College in Oxford, England, where he formed a friendship with Coleridge and joined with him in a plan for an American utopia along the Susquehanna River that was never actualized. Southey married in 1795 to Edith Fricker, made several trips to Portugal, and settled with his wife and the Coleridge family at Greta Hall near Keswick in the Lake District of England. He enjoyed great popularity and renown in his day and was made Poet Laureate in 1813. Today, his reputation as a poet rests upon his friendships with Coleridge and Wordsworth and a handful of short poems. As a prose writer, however, his reputation has increased. My assignment was to read On the Death of a Favorite Old Spaniel by Robert Southey. In his poem, he talks about the loss of his favorite companion. Looking further into the piece, I believe that the owner feels lost and regrets the time he wasted by being in school and focused on other things. The narrator of the poem remarks seeing a change over time in both himself and the dog, and I feel like the author was trying to show the change not only in the dog, but the person as well, and how losing a companion, and even a person, can really open your eyes to things you may have missed out on and done differently.